going on guys? Robert here with the Back Satchel Hunters one more time. Um, just figured I'd get an essential piece of gear out today. Something that um, I really never put a whole lot of thought into hey, back a few years ago. Um, up until one of the first times I had to depend on it. And that would be a good bino harness. Um, <clears throat> myself, I've been running one of the Kuyu harnesses now for, I guess this will be my third year. And again, you know, stand hunting here in North Georgia back in the day that, you know, really binos wasn't really, a, I guess, an essential piece of gear. But once we started throwing on our packs and carrying everything around with us, you know, it, it became, it's not as practical, I guess, to try to scramble through everything and, and find your binos. So there's nothing better than, you know, I guess cresting a hill than being able just to pull them out, do that number, you know, quickly glass around and then have them back here on your chest. Uh, again, as mentioned, I'm just running just the two you set up. Uh, nothing fancy, of course, pardon the uh, excessive uh, material here. I'm not in my layering system, so they're kind of loose. I didn't want them falling down my chest, but you know, just a, a really neat setup overall. Uh, of course, again, these are, they, they've updated them now quite a few times over the course of the last few years, but um, this is my version, just the large Vice camo, just the regular old Kuyu Bino harness. Uh, it's a really neat system as far as the way it sets up because you've got your main strap. Let me buckle these back together here. Um, anyways, you've got your main strap that goes around your chest, but as far as the shoulder portion of this setup, it's really just made possible by the binos themselves. It's kind of awkward without it being on me, but yes, yeah, so you've just got the one that goes around your rib cage, uh, but then the binos looping over your shoulders creates the other part of the harness. So it's kind of neat. Gravity itself uh, more or less keeps it all together. Um, these things are nice, of course, pardon the fuzz and dust and hair in there, but uh, just a nice, soft, kind of a padded material there. Uh, I'm sure that's the way it still is on the newer versions. Uh, then, of course, you've got two little drawstrings you can use to kind of you know, cinch that top down snug to keep your binos from popping out. Uh, this particular, again, mentioned as I mentioned before, this is just a large uh, Kuyu bino harness. Uh, I'm just running a pair of Zeiss Conquest. I believe they're like a 10 by 30 BT model is what it was. So yeah, most guys are running at least a 10 power, you know, 10 by 42s is popular. I ran a 10 by 30 because that's just what I happen to have. Um, but anyways, those fit in here with, and yeah, that's pretty well with the lid cinched down pretty snug. Uh, you've got plenty of room for a larger pair of binos. Of course, it comes with the little rain cover uh, that just kind of nicely fits over the whole uh, kit as it's, as a whole. Um, I've never had to utilize it. Uh, this thing itself, it sheds water pretty good. Of course, there's a the little rain cover, more or less like a shower cap. I said Kuyu was nice enough to send for us. Uh, but anyway, uh, just a nice water resistant material uh, as with all their stuff, of course. Um, I've got a solid pair as well and Major Brown just as a spare set. I picked up used from a, a guy uh, and you know, honestly, I don't know. They're uh, it's probably one of the handiest pieces of, of my kit that I've used. I found myself using these here in the Whitetail Woods once we got back home from some of our first mule deer and antelope and elk hunts. Um, and I don't know, I know they've just improved them now to where you can add more things to it. I've got a rangefinder. Uh, pocket that'll hook here on the side. Of course, they got little ammo pouches, all kinds of stuff now. Uh, myself, I always, I tend to carry, uh, I've got, of course, the rain cover and I've got some lens wipes tucked away in this side pocket. Uh, whenever we're out west, I'll have a, uh, or wherever we're hunting, not necessarily out west, it just tends to be where I use them the most. Uh, I go ahead and stick a few extra shells here or in my uh, accessory pocket on my pack, depending on what I've got. But just a, a neat system, a neat setup, and for the money, uh, for how handy this is, you really can't beat it. Um, of course, there you can pick them up, use 50, 60 bucks. You know, neither probably up close to 100. But for what it is, it's worth its weight in gold. Uh, it's one thing I don't leave the house without. This time of year, I tend to leave them in my truck because I don't know. I just feel it's like not having a gun when you're out there hunting when you don't have your your binos. It just has become second nature to wear these everywhere. So, anyways, guys, uh, random video. Had a little bit of spare time here on a nice Sunday afternoon, so I figured I would would get out another essential piece of my kit. Again, uh, you don't know how handy it is having binos on your chest in a harness uh, until you use them. Uh, compared to the old fashioned way of the little, the necklace thing or the little lanyard that comes with them um, or having them in your pack. I mean, they're, they're essentially useless. Uh, spotter stays in the pack till we set up the glass, a big area. But these things, I mean, there's been 
10,000 things times you'll think you'll see a deer's ear or or the tail or something in the woods you can flip these out real quick well i know it's, it's a leaf or oh it is a deer let's let's set up for a stalk so again handy piece of kit um so there it is guys my version what i've been using for three seasons now is the kuyu bino harness these things have been bulletproof they got well they've been through briars mud blood and everything else and they're still holding up great don't even have any picks in them i don't suppose but uh, anyways thanks for watching be sure to uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't uh, we don't always ramble around too much but try to have fun and just kind of share some stuff that's been handy for us so anyways thanks for watching stick with us we'll see you next time